the Economic Community of West African States Commission and the International Trade Center, with support from the European Union, have commenced a week-long training on trade competitiveness and regional value chain analysis. This training held on Monday at a local hotel in Kololi is part of the West Africa Competitiveness Program and focuses on utilizing the West African Competitiveness Observatory. Eight West African countries are represented at the event. The training is designed to equip selected participants with the skills necessary to effectively leverage the West African Competitiveness Observatory. Participants will learn to access and utilize data-driven insights to prepare presentations and draft policy briefs on trade competitiveness and regional value chains. Throughout the week, attendees will explore the functionality of the West African Competitiveness Observatory, a platform that centralizes essential data on trade flows, market opportunities, and competitiveness indicators across the region. Speaking at the opening ceremony, Babakar Ojuf, the Gambia's Minister of Trade, Regional Integration and Employment, emphasized the importance of trade competitiveness, describing it as a crucial policy for the Gambia and the broader West African region. Our economies, whilst rich in resources and potential, face numerous challenges that must be addressed if we are to compete effectively in global markets. These challenges include infrastructural deficits, limited access to finance, inadequate market information, and the need for stronger institutions that can support trade and investment. One of the most, most pressing issues we face is the integration of our economies into regional and global value chains. The potential of regional value chains to drive economic growth and create jobs is immense. Yet the realization of this potential has for the longest been hindered by non-tariff barriers, limited trade logistics including transport and storage facilities, lack of harmonized standards, as well as poor quality infrastructure. The EU head of cooperation highlighted the European Union's long-standing partnership with West Africa, which is built on a shared commitment to economic growth, regional integration and sustainable development. We are already supporting the, um, the competitiveness through the WACOM program, the West Africa Competitiveness Program. And this is uh, uh, also an important initiative uh, to help uh, address the trade uh, uh, barriers. Uh, we focus on capacity building, providing the tools necessary for effective trade analysis and policy development. And with this, we aim to empower West African countries to better integrate in regional and global markets. The ECOWAS resident representative to the GAMI added that Pillar 3 of the ECOWAS Vision 2050 aims to deepen regional economic integration by improving interconnectivity and enhancing competitiveness within West Africa. This vision states a clear objective to strengthen the competitiveness of West Africa by enhancing the production, transformation and export capacities of the private sector. The objective is firmly supported by the regional SME strategies and initiatives. This includes, notably, the West Africa Common Industrial Policy, WASIP, and the Private Sector Development Strategy, which seek to develop productive and trade capacity, as well as the regional value chains. Our specific goal is to improve the performance and growth of selected priority sectors and the value chain in goods along with related services. The International Trade Center reaffirmed its commitment to enhancing the trade competitiveness of West African nations through innovative tools and collaborative efforts. The West African Competitiveness Observatory plays a vital role in this mission by providing key data and insights that support informed decision making and strategic planning in the region. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Fatou Silla.